Hey girl, if you want to see how I make this, keep watching. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Jada. If you're new here, if you're a return subscriber, hey girl. Today I'm going to be working on some tool tutu skirts. And I'm just going to take y'all along with me and show y'all how I do it. I'm going to show you everything you need, how to assemble it. I'm holding everything that I use down in the description box down below. Right now, all I need is a piece of elastic, scissors, I prefer high glue over sewing, a piece of like cardboard or something that you can measure out, and of course your tool. That's literally all you need. The first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of cardboard and I already cut it to the exact measurement that I need for my skirt. After you cut your board, the next thing you want to do is get the color tool that you want. Today I'm going to be using purple, pink, and black because I am doing a tutu set. All you have to do is start, take your tool. All you have to do, this is six inch tool by the way. You just take it around your piece of cardboard and you'll just start wrapping. So I am doing a 2T tutu today. So uh, the measurement that you normally want to do is nine inches. So what I mean, I did measure my board to exactly nine inches, but when you cut the tool, you will not cut both sides. You only cut one side to ensure that when you actually fold the tool over to put it on your elastic band to create the tutu, that the tutu will still be nine inches and not four and a half inches, if that makes sense. So there's really not an exact measurement when it comes to like rolling this around because it's just not, but I do like to layer my tool once it's on the elastic. So therefore I just do a lot. And then of course any leftovers will be used for an additional tutu skirt or something. So I'm just gonna roll all these out and then I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't worry about not rolling enough the first time because you always can just go back and roll more so it's not that big of a deal.
ahead and just cut more purple because I know I kind of want more purple than any color in this tutu. And just to show you what I mean, like I said, I cut my board to nine inches because I wanted my tutu to be nine inches. But just make sure when you do do that, that you don't cut both sides when you're cutting it off the board. That way you can make sure that you actually have 18 inch long tool. That way when you fold it over as you're putting it onto the elastic, it'll actually be the nine inches that you originally wanted. Next thing you wanna do is, I got my high glue gun heated up. I already measured my elastic to the width that I need for this tutu. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take some of this high glue and this is not regular high glue this is a uh, fabric high glue i'll link it down in the description down below as well super strong super durable i use it for pretty much all my fabrics and i've never got a customer complaint so it works for me and i just love this method i do just give it a squeeze for a couple seconds make sure it's not going anywhere and it's already stuck yeah it's stuck so on this next part, I just take my elastic that I went ahead and uh, fused together and I'm just going to put it around my leg. I just like doing that method because it's easier for me. I always got my leg, whatever. <laughs> I just want to start applying my tool to the elastic. I only have a little bit of pink because I only wanted a little bit of pink in this design. So it's mostly going to be black and purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Since this is demonstration purposes only, I'm going to take two pieces of tool. I normally prefer three. And then you want to fold it over. And then I like to put it on here and make a loop on one end and hold the other two loose ends. And then put the loose ends through the loop and pull. And I'm going to do that all the way around in a pattern of my choice. So I got my two pieces of tool. One, two. I'm going to fold it over, make a loop, and put the loose ends through the loop and pull all the way around. So I'm going to continue doing that all the way around until I get to a point where I feel like it's pretty, you know, full and it's in the design that I want.
done as you can see there's really no right or wrong way to do it you just kind of go with the flow and this is what i come up with i want to add a bow to this and then it'll be finished and i'll show you the finished product mm -hmm. 